Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Tuesday, July 7, 2009. And today we're reading 2 Samuel chapter 14. And um, as always, first I'd like to encourage you to read it for yourself, see what you get from it, email us, and we'll put it on the blog. Uh, but one thing I noticed as I was reading this is just this story is similar to um, what we was reading before about Nathan, because now Joab uh, sends a woman and um, she speaks to David and you can read it for yourself I'm not actually going into the particular story but the lesson I got from this as reading uh, from reading this chapter is really just about the importance of having the right people around you that help to steer you on the right path um, like I said Nathan had really shown um, David the error of his ways um, in the previous chapter and we see in this chapter that Joab also helps to put David on the uh, right track or point him in the right direction by uh, having another woman to come to him. So uh, what I got, like I said, the lesson for life is the importance of having other people around you that can encourage you to help you uh, to do the right thing. Because um, by ourselves, you know, we can make mistakes, we can have errors, but it's important to have those right people that will uh, not distract you from, uh, you know, doing good and maybe point you in the wrong direction, but people that will actually point you in the right direction. So uh, that's one thing that I noticed and that I saw in the similarity of just how uh, Joab was there and he was able to get his point across and um, get his message to David even though indirectly but he was able to help David in that regards. So for us, you know, surround yourself with people who you know um, are of positive spirit that can encourage you in the, in the right way because uh, you don't know when you're going to need them. Like I said, by ourselves, we may not see the error of our ways or what we're doing wrong or what's done, being done incorrectly, but if we have those right people around us, then they can help us. And then guess what? You know what? Sometimes you can help them at times, too. So the key thing is to have the right people around and be in the association of right people. Uh, so that's really what I got and what I want to share from this chapter. Uh, there's more in this chapter, like I said, so you have to read it for yourself. But with that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.